Hey, good evening, folks. Good Tuesday evening, July the 14th. Uh, good to see y'all. Hope you had a good day. Hope you had a, a productive day. Uh, got lots of stuff done that needed to get done. Uh, if not, that's okay. Maybe you had a restful day. Those are good too, right? Uh, hope all is well. Good to see you guys hopping on here. Um, I'm not going to make tonight super long. Um, I've got <laughs> my day's not done yet, so. Uh, but it's good to uh, it's good to get on here and kind of wind things down a little bit, uh, take some deep breaths, slow down, and uh, get ready to uh, get some rest for the evening. So, um, want to remind you uh, tomorrow night, uh, 6:30, our Wednesday night Bible study Zoom call. Uh, we're going to be jumping into Daniel. Uh, yeah, Alice, we saw that school was delayed by two weeks. That might be the beginning of a, a long delay or we'll see who knows, uh, lots of crazies happening. Uh, but in the midst of all that, he is still on the throne and we can trust in that and put our hope in him when everything else around us crumbles and falls, he does not. So, uh, that's where our hope and our rest, as we talk about resting and, and winding down, that's where our rest lies is in him. <clears throat> so, uh, we're going to keep trusting and keep focusing on him. Uh, let's take just a couple of moments and uh, uh, kind of take some deep breaths um, and refocus ourselves. As in a few moments, we get to, we get to say the, uh, the Lord's Prayer. Uh, that's an important thing. So uh, if you haven't been joining us, I encourage you. Join us on Sunday mornings. Invite others to join us. Uh, you can follow online or you can come in person and we will uh, be uh, going through systematically. We started a couple weeks ago. You can go back and rewatch going through systematically the Lord's Prayer uh, verse by verse, even line by line and sometimes word by word. So uh, I want you to I want to encourage you to, to join us with that. And uh, oh boy, they're all watching me in the fellowship hall. Well, hopefully uh, I look OK on that big screen in there. Who knows? Um <clears throat> I wanted to give you an update. Angela uh, and the kids will be uh, leaving in the morning. Uh, also, Karen, her mom, and Lynn, my mom, uh, will be traveling back together. Uh, they'll be stopping in, uh, in Georgia uh, Wednesday night, and then they will be home at some point in the day, uh, evening Thursday. So if you would be praying for them as they're traveling, uh, I would appreciate that. Um, so just a few more days. And uh, looking forward to having them back home uh, with me here. Well, let's get ready and take some deep breaths and uh, just wind down. I know some of you still have a few more things to do, but we want to uh, get ready and, and, and close our day out focusing on Him. All right? Uh, take just a minute or two. Uh, take those deep breaths, maybe, maybe 30 seconds or so. And... Uh, we will be right back together. All right, see you in just a second. Earlier this evening, I uh, was on a about a two-hour Zoom meeting um, with uh, a, a handful of other pastors, um, district missionary presidents, a global mission director, Nazarene Missions International director, uh, a couple missionaries from uh, different world areas, and we were discussing what it looks like in the midst, uh, what missions looks like in the midst of COVID-19. Uh, in a COVID-19 ravaged world. And uh, the common theme that we heard over and over and over again was that um, uh, a lot of people are mourning. 
Uh, a lot of people are hurting. Um, they're not just mourning um, death, even though that's that's a very real thing. Uh, the loss of life due to this virus and things like that. They're not just mourning that. They're mourning the loss of connections, the loss of relationship, the loss of friendship, the loss of humanity. And so I want to encourage you tonight. Uh, we may not be able to be together in person all the time the way we want to be and, and gathering and sitting in the, in the foyer talking and hanging out and having a cup of coffee together and, and shaking hands and hugging and having uh, fellowships you know all the time and we, we may not be able to do that right now uh, but that doesn't mean that we have to lose our relationships that doesn't mean that we have to lose uh, our humanity and so I want to encourage you tonight um Pick up the phone, reach out to someone, call someone, uh, visit uh, at a distance. Uh, don't lose what's been stolen away. Uh, I think Satan's using this as an opportunity for him to divide and conquer. We won't let that happen. In order for that to not happen, you, the church, you need to stand up doesn't mean you have to be in the building. You don't have to step foot in the building. But you stand up as the church right where you are and be an immovable force, powered, sourced by him. Reach out to your neighbors, to your friends. Reach out to those who, who aren't, who do not have the luxury that you have with a church family as awesome as ours. Be the church. Be his hands and feet in a dark world. <clears throat> and when we pray this prayer that we're getting ready to pray, that can help us do that. That can help us do that. Because we pray this one of these last lines, lead us not into temptation. Right now there's a temptation to, to hide. There's a temptation to slink away from people. There's a temptation to go at it alone. There's a temptation to segregate and to stop and to separate ourselves. That's the last thing humanity needs right now. And so as we pray this prayer tonight, I want to encourage you. Uh, when you pray, if you guys remember when Jesus taught, when you pray, pray like this. Ask him for strength. Ask him for what you need in your context, in your little corner of, of the globe. Ask him what you can be doing. Let's get ready and pray this prayer together as one. Are you ready? Say these words with me as Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Well, guys, I want to encourage you tonight and I want to ask that uh, that he would bless you this evening. May you find that place where you can rest and rejuvenate. Find that place where your mind and your body and your soul can be restored so that tomorrow when you get up, you are refreshed and energized and full of his spirit to be his hands and feet in a world that desperately, desperately needs him. Guys, love y'all. Appreciate you. Hope you have a blessed, blessed night. Relax, enjoy your time together, and uh, we will see you again very soon. Remember, tomorrow night, 6.30, Zoom Bible study. Uh, then again, uh, Thursday morning and evening at 8.30, morning and evening. Um, and then Sunday morning, right back at KFC or online, whichever, uh, whichever medium you choose to join in worship. We look forward to seeing you. All right, guys, love y'all. Have a great night. See you again.